Alrighty, so I'm headed to uh, some state land not too far from me. I was gonna hunt some private land that we have today, but the wind just isn't gonna be right. And it's hot as heck. It's like 68 degrees out. That's way too hot for bow season. So I'm not gonna, it's like a half hour away. I'm not gonna drive all the way out there. And um, I wanna set a stand up at this place on public land. So this place happens to fall within the deer management focus area. And I'll make another video on that, kind of explaining what it is. But it basically, they, the state will give you extra antlerless deer tags every year, which is kind of nice. Um, and it's like not very far from where I live. So I think I'm going to go there today. I'm going to go to the check-in station, see if anybody's hunting. If nobody's hunting, um, I'll go in, set a stand up, and then just hunt it this afternoon. Um, obviously not an ideal scenario because I'm setting a stand up during season, but it's public, so I don't like to set the stands up early. It just gives more pe people more of an opportunity to take them if they really wanted to. And it's hot out, so I don't think the deer are going to move until quite late anyway, so it'll give the woods a chance to settle down. So we're going to the check-in station now. Let's see if anybody's hunting. If somebody's hunting, I'm not going to bother with it. I'll just end up going to the private land. And uh, But if nobody's hunting, which I don't think they will be because it's pretty early in the afternoon and it's 67 degrees out, I'm going to go set a stand up, hang it, and... Uh, We'll hunt it today and see what happens so okay so we're here looks like only one person has signed in so i think we'll probably be all right to head out and uh see if we can't grab a deer i'm just gonna sign in here quick Alrighty, so there's only one other person signed up but they signed up to hunt the lower portion of the park so the park is kind of split into an upper and a lower portion um so i'm gonna go ahead because i'm hunting the upper portion so I'm going to go ahead, go in there, set up a stand. Not going to get much of that on film just because I'm going to try to carry a hang-on stand, climbing sticks, my bow, and my backpack, and the camera all at once. So I'm probably not going to get much film of, of that kind of stuff, but uh, we'll see what we can do. So stay tuned, and hopefully uh, next clip here, we're in stand. Alrighty, guys. So uh, <clears throat> number one, forgot my dead cat. I don't have it. I left it at my buddy's house, so if there's wind noise, I'm sorry. Number two, uh, finally got in the stand here. Got my harness on. Got my binoculars here. Got my bow hanging on the... It's kind of a ghetto bow hook. I, uh, I have a strap that has little hooks that are square on the back so you can wrap it around a tree for <coughs> areas where you can't screw in. And I forgot the little hooks. Brought the strap, but I forgot the hooks. So that's what I'm using today. Um, so I'm kind of set up over this big open area here and uh, there's a big wood lot over there and then there's woods back here behind me. I actually wanted to set up in uh, that big hardwood over there and um, I was coming back to grab the stand. There's a big trail right here, pretty active trail going out here and then another trail going down that way and a bunch of trails all throughout in here. So I. Uh, Let's give it a shot. I've only hunted this property a couple times, but it's not too far from where I live. And I get the deer management tags, which uh, I said earlier, I'll talk about in another video. I will link it up over here. And uh, so this is my first uh, attempt trying to sell film a hunt, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> six o'clock we only got about an hour left so uh i got a feeling if this stand's gonna be good at all it'll be good last hour later first hour not too much during the day just because it's kind of in this uh travel corridor it's not necessarily on a main food source or anything like that so stay tuned It's getting to be about uh, quitting time here. It's about five, ten minutes after shooting light, and uh, time to go. Um, had those three fawns come running through. Had another deer up back behind me, probably 40 yards, uh, that I could just barely see through some thick stuff, but I heard it walk off. And uh, 
so it's a good sign though that there's deer in here. All of a sudden, the, I just heard a running sound, and next thing you know, a fawn comes running. She literally ran right underneath the tree stand, and she just stood there. And there's two fawns back in the woods, and uh, the one fawn back in the woods just took off. The other one stayed there, and then the one underneath my stand took off with the one that took off, and then they all three took off. And then a few minutes later is when I saw the deer way back up there. Um, couldn't tell what it was. I could just see a body. Um, but I heard that one walk off. So I don't know if it was a buck chasing him or something, um, or just a, a doe chasing him or something. I don't know why a doe would chase him, but uh, it's pretty early for the rut too, so I wouldn't, would, don't think it would be that. But uh, I don't know. I, they never saw me. They, like I said, the doe was right underneath my stand. I probably could have spine shot her if I wanted. She was a little fawn. But, uh, so I wasn't going to shoot her, but, so I'm going to get down here in a few minutes and, uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching and.